Science and technology has been around from the beginning of time. It evolved from the everyday efforts of the people trying to improve their way of life. Throughout history, humankind has developed and utilized tools, machines, and techniques without understanding how or why they worked or comprehend to their physical or chemical composition. Science and technology in the Philippines started through the use of archaeological evidences. Filipinos from the past had already engaged in scientific and technological processes. Some of the evidence of the science and technology in the Philippines are the artifacts that the archaeologists found, which is very evident of the Filipinos' way of living and how they already indulge in the science and technology even before. Even before the Spanish colonization, Filipinos had already using certain plants and herbs as medicine. In Filipino term, we call it albalario. They had already using the therapeutic composition of plants and aid the problems of diseases. In addition, farming and caring of animals was already the livelihood of the early Filipinos. They cultivate plants for food and caring of animals as well. One of the most evident events that Filipinos are doing agriculture is the Banawi rice terraces, which considered as the most significant engineering product of the Filipinos. Building the rice terraces enables the people to cultivate crops in the mountainsides in cold temperatures. Moreover, Filipinos also in the past had already developed different modes of transportation, building of boats called Karakoa, for trading and trekking is their way of transportation before the Spanish regime. The Spanish colonial period of the Philippines began when explorer Ferdinand Magellan came to the Philippines in 1521 and claimed it as a colony for the Spanish Empire. During this period, Philippine science and technology had greater development. The Spanish government provides modern means of constructions like walls, roads, bridges, and other large infrastructures. Formal education in the Philippines started in the Spanish period, where schools, colleges, and universities are established, and science was taught in school. The period of American colonialization of the Philippines lasted 48 years, from cession of the Philippines to the United States by Spain in 1898. The Philippine science and technology during this period is inclined towards agriculture, food processing, medicine, and pharmacy. They also established government agency that helps nurture the development of the fields of science. The Americans also established public educational system and improved the health conditions of the people through emergence of public hospitals, clinics, and centers. After being colonized, the Philippines has gained its independence on July 4, 1946. Full independence was granted to the Republic of the Philippines by the United States during this period. The Philippines had already made ways to develop science and technology. During the Fifth Republic, President Marcos ushered the advancement of science and technology through many agencies to help strengthen the science and technology in the Philippines. One of the major contributions of this period was the emergence of PAGASA, NAST, and DOST. During the term of Corazon Aquino, science and technology is one of the top priority of the government towards economic recovery. Numerous laws and projects were established to strengthen the development of science and technology in the Philippines after each term of precedence. Now that the science and technology had been developed not only in the Philippines but also in the whole world, major scientific and technological advancements are used to manipulate the world. Lots of scientific advancement and technologies is made from various parts of the world. Different technologies emerge in this modern era. Philippines have changed a lot throughout the years, particularly in the method for how Filipinos lived. 
This happened when the technology intervened their lives. Because of the convenience introduced by the technology, people become dependent on it. Definitely, a few people can't live without technology and their ordinary living.